So I'm making my uh, background for uh, for the red Pokemon Red game I'm playing, and I wanted to like I guess put it on uh, uh, on my channel as like a separate thing uh, from the Pokemon playthrough, just as like a how I do it. Uh, there we go. My chair is not. Hey, come on, chair. There we go. So uh, what I've done here. I originally started with this. Uh, this is what I wanted to have uh, as the background, nice and nostalgic. So what I did was I put it into here. I put that exact uh, that that background into here. I divided up everything as much as I could. So what I did was I I cut this out and put it in and then made three of them on each side and grouped that as one unit. So that that's, uh, well actually it's not full yet, merge. So I did that. And what I did was I copied a little bit of this and I kept copying it and make it bigger, merging it together, merging it together until I had a, a complete background. And what I did was I copied that and put it onto the original here uh, and like made it even bigger for like the real screen, and so for this I just I just did that just to see how it would look. Uh, that's the old one with like like that's kind of like the viewer that you'd see. So I wanted to replicate that. So I uh, put it into the screen size that I'm going to use uh, because I needed the uh, screen size. Uh, I'm over. I'm basically going to move the video of the. Uh, the recording into a specific spot in Premiere and that'll sit behind uh, this big area here and I'll fit it in this white window right here so it's uh, I, yep I saved it so that that's a screenshot of the like first couple frames uh, of the actual game that I'm gonna play so I'll, I'll take that I'll take a screenshot of that and then I'll get just what I'm gonna put in just like the part of it, not like the background. Although, <clears throat> it doesn't matter for the background for this one because I'm just gonna like put the background, this actually should be on the bottom. So I'm gonna like pretend this is like a regular desktop screen. I'm just gonna move it in Premiere to where it's supposed to be and bam, it'll it'll look good. This will be underneath this, all this stuff. So I, uh, in order to do that, I need this to be hollow. I need this to not have anything in it because it's going to be on top. So I have to cut out all the layers, this one being the one that I had to cut out. But I cut that out uh, like randomly in the middle over here of this, which is just going to be on top of it. I changed this to blue because I wasn't really a fan of that. It's like it blends together too much. You really don't see that it's actually like a, a three-dimensional pop-out. So I changed it to like a, a nice indigo-y color, and I think it complements the background nicely. And then uh, I would have had to scrunch this down too much, and I didn't think it looked good uh, being smaller than it is. There's too much gap between these parts. And actually, I think there's too much gap uh, between there right now. I'm going to move that over. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Uh, and then I have to move this over with it just for visualization. Oh, so that looks really good. That's a lot better. Half half dark red, half pink. Half dark red, half pink. So that's great. And then we have three full ones and then three full ones and then two halves and two halves. Okay, so that's about center. And I've... If you go by the ruler, it won't really help you too much because we're at like 19 and an eighth or 19 and a fourth inches for this guy. So doing the math in your head like I do is not the best way to do it because I'm always usually wrong. So with that, that looks great. So now I just need to worry about these guys. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to put my own Pokemon into there. So all the Pokemon I like from Gen 1 that are like my usual typicals, I'm going to put uh, right here. So my favorite's Blast Squirtle, and I'm going to have a Blastoise. So what I've done was I put text next to all of them. Gengar, actually no, I might 
I might put it in the middle. It might, it might look better. Right about there. Uh, put blast voice down a smidge. And then NATO King. So I'm doing it by my favorites. So I blast is my favorite, then Gengar, then Mewtwo. But uh, Mewtwo is replacing Nido King, so I'm putting Nido King third. And I'm not going to get Mewtwo until end game, but his name is there too. So let me undo Nido King and just center that. So that's about right. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect, just so it looks nice. I'm not a stickler for that particularly. So then we on the other side we have uh, Flareon, uh, Golbat, and uh, Dragonite. I like Dragonite more than I like uh, like Flareon, but I always, for some reason, I've always had Dragonite be my sweeper, uh, a sweeper in the term of the one that brings up the rear. So I always like Dragonite in the sixth spot. I don't know why. I've been doing it since probably Gen two. Before, because uh, I don't think I really had any, a bunch of favorites. I know Golbat wasn't my favorite until Gen two, uh, where he can evolve into Crobat. So. It is what it is, but I'm not really too much of a fan of Golbat. Crobat is on my definite team, but Golbat is, and I don't like the way he looks. But for nostalgic's sake, I have him on my team until I get a, uh, a Sandslash, in which case Sandslash will take over. I'm going to be able to get the Sandshrew from the... Since this Pokemon Red version, Sandshrew isn't in this version, but I put him in the... Uh, if you watch my other video about how I prepared the hack... Uh, for me playing it. I put Sand True into the the prizes for the casino. So I'll get a Golbat before I get a Sand Sand Slash, most likely. So with that said, screw you. Uh, so with that said, I just need to put in, I need to make sure that these are all center, that's about right. Flare on needs to be centered. Right about there. I would make them bigger text, but I think when they're this is 100%. Yeah, it's 100%. So that's gonna be pretty big. You're gonna be able to see that, no problem. And you can see that now that I zoomed in the uh, the places where I cut it for pixels, you can tell. You can't tell left or right, but you can tell vertically. That was harder. There wasn't really any spots on the original where I could nice get like a nice vertical line without having to cut out an entire thing. I wanted to go like half and half, but it is what it is. So, and then I have my watermark-ish, kind of my watermark, just my username. So I am gonna delete this eventually, but not before putting these on top first. So I'm gonna put like that right there. Copy V, 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 V. So we have uh, five of them. So almost as if I, uh, didn't merge these to begin with. I just needed to merge them so I could get a uh, a nice grade on where I'm going to put them. So we put that one in the middle, up top. Uh, this one needs to go up top. And I'm going to delete these afterwards. I just need to make sure that they're lined up with themselves. So I don't really care if they're lined up with what's there right now. So if I delete this. That looks good. Great. These all need to go a pixel over the left, though. Yeah, better. That's good enough, though, for me. So I can actually delete this right now. Don't need it anymore. And so what I'm going to be doing is zooming in extremely a lot. Uh, don't need this anymore, either just for sizing, though I'm actually not going to save the picture like that, obviously, because I'll need the popping, needed to pop through that. So, Blastoise. Uh, that looks about good. Put that up a little bit. And so we're going to redo these, but I just want to get the general, like, look of it. So we're going to go into my downloads and I just got these guys put that in there they're all loaded and actually I don't need these anymore let's get rid of these windows nope 
Nope, don't need that. Nope, thank you. Nope. And before I do anything else, I'm going to save this. And we're going to go up to Sean Lawrence here. And we need a new folder for Pokemon. Haven't played any Pokemon games yet. And then we're going to go background. Okay, cool. Did that in case something happens. I don't have to go through the temp files and figure out where the hell I was. So Gengar, and we're going to put his layer right, I'm going to put their layers right underneath their names. Uh, Blastoise, Mewtwo, Nidoking, Butterfree, and I, I would always just want on Bulbapedia, do I have the windows to open? Yeah, I did. Uh, so I, did, I just went on Bulbapedia. I clicked on them, like Flareon's closest right here. Uh, so I just went down all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Wow, okay. And so I have basically the first two gens to choose from, and I like the silver version the best, I think. So that's the one I chose. Did that with all of them. That sand slash and then delete these. No, if I copied them, I would have had to say no every time. I should have done that, but copying for some reason doesn't always work. Okay, so I'm missing Dragonite. Did I not do Dragonite? I know I have Butterfree on there. Okay, let's see what we have here. Blastoise is there. Gengar is there. Nidoking's there. Mewtwo's there. Flareon's there. Golbat's there. Sandslash is there. Oh, I guess I didn't. Did I not grab them? I guess they didn't grab uh, these two, please. Dragonite. And then Buddha Free. See if I did that, leave it there. It's just a habit to cut and paste for me for some reason. And I just bop. Oh, it does actually need to save. Never mind. And no. Oh, okay, cool. So we're, we're good now. Let's just move these to where they need to be. So Butterfree is going to be... Bottom right with Dragonite. Turn all these back on. Except for Blastoise. Blastoise is fine. Gengar. Nido King. Mewtwo. Flareon. Golbat. Sandro. Cool. All right, so let's let's zoom in on Blastoise, and then we'll. I'm gonna do the same for the other one, so I'll skip past that. But, and then I'll show you the end product. So for Blastoise, um, let's do this. Uh, text. Let's go N O dot O nine. O O O nine. Number nine. Um, uh, water, ice, because I edited the ROM to be like that. And let's do these at 16 point. Yeah. And we want to have that about centered. Uh, have this 16 as well. 16, 16, yo. 18. Where did I put this at? Oh, I put it at 16. Let's put it at 18. Actually, yeah, let's keep them at... Put them at 14, actually. That way there's plenty of room, because a lot of the other ones don't have such short types. 14. 
and so let's put the number right here uh, and we're actually instead of putting this we're gonna do with our actual name so I'm gonna do uh, oh shit what's my Blastoise nickname I think it's Blastman oh my god I have to look at my Pokemon files now uh, I don't know if I even have them uh, yeah it's Blastman and then my Squirtle is uh, Exilio so Blastman it is and then we'll do in tiny text 14 last voice and so we're gonna have that next to each other it's gonna be a pain in the butt to have so much going at once uh, put that right up to the right and so what we're gonna do for these is basically uh, do this although I do, I do want to kind of have keep the card rounded up so let's let's do this instead right about there keep that oh whoop. we wanted to do that the same thing just make it all white that kind of looks like shit though do I have a, uh, a shape that I can do? Rounded rectangle tool? That looks actually way better. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's put that up top here. Shape one beneath all the blast away stuff. Okay, cool. So, and then let's do a another one like that make it white uh, do that a little bit perfect oh need to have that whiteness below it nice and big right in the middle Keep the uh, aspect ratio though. That's important. And it just uh, it pixeled down, so it's that looks pretty good though. And nice and fuzzy, just like the background, which is kind of what I wanted to. What was my intention? Okay, so uh, oh, these are all black. So what we want to do is have the card color, uh, his first type. So we're gonna go U, go L, U, Control Shift U. Do I have to simplify this later? I think I do. Uh, U. There we go. Now I can color it. There we go. That's a nice watercolor. 210. Okay. So we're going to put this up here. Oh, shit. Z. Always got to make sure you grab onto the right layer. Blastoise. Number 9. Uh, water ice. Um... Let's do this. Make this bigger. Make this bigger. There we go. So we don't have much to say, and I don't have the time to say much. So, yeah, I think that looks good. So what we're going to do is we are going to 
uh, let's see what we can do if we do this and this merge those two layers together if we can just do that and then change the color yep that's a good idea okay cool so we'll keep those merged and then we will copy that uh, all no nope. X all copy V so there it is and then we have don't need to get don't need these things anymore I don't know why I spent the time to do that Yeah, so I'm going to do that for the rest of them. I already at 20 minutes. That's uh, about a good time. So I'm going to do that for the rest of them. It'll look great. And uh, maybe I'll do... Uh, let's see here. Blastoise. What is Blastoise, technically? He is a shellfish Pokemon. Which is stupid. Uh, I might just do giant... Oh, Camex. That's his Japanese name, but... Emma, eh. I was going to do, like, Tiny Turtle. I just, but Shellfish Pokemon's stupid. And I know the other ones are not any better. So, I think that'll be it. I'll just have those three descriptors. The name, the number, and the type. That's 14. That's 14. Yeah. That's good. Cool. Keeping it like that. Thanks for watching. Uh, so basically what I do after this is I'll save as for web. Oh, not save as for web. I just want to save as PNG. That'll keep the background open. And then we'll go uh, Pokemon PG. Uh, and we're going to have eight different types because we have eight different Pokemon that we're going to have the team. So we have one, two, three, four, or we're going to build them up each. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to edit seven, eight, and then it's, oh, okay, so there's going to be nine pictures. But, uh, yeah, and that'll be that. So it's Pokemon BG1. And that's it. So that's just going to be Squirtle. I'm just going to have Squirtle for now. And until I get another Pokemon, I won't put it on here. But, like, two will be two will be Blastoise and, uh, and Nidoking. So it'll be Blastoise, Nidoking. These guys will be blank. I might just uh, have them, like, darkened out as the Pokemon. No, I'll probably just have them blank. I'll have them, like, invisible. Have the background there instead. And that'll be that. So uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that was... I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do with Photoshop, and it's, it's a great tool. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask.